News at 6. The little bit tougher part is, is this too far reaching for the federal government uh, to, to, to be able to do? That's when he'll go back and look at the specific language. An attorney discussing the possible implications of Lubbock ISD taking the Biden administration to court over vaccine and mask mandates and Head Start programs. Good evening, I'm Lauren Motter. Proponents say all of this could lead to further staffing and enrollment issues in these programs. KMAX Katie Gray was in that courtroom today and has more for us. Lauren, the case does come with high stakes. The district argues that if the vaccine and mask mandate is enforced in these programs, it would lead be more harmful than good. But on the other hand, it does come down to if it was filed and executed correctly. In, in this particular case, this is a question of law not a question of fact. In a federal courtroom Thursday morning, Judge Wes Hendricks heard from Lubbock ISD, the state of Texas, and from federal administration as they made their cases over the vaccine and mask mandate in Head Start programs. Lawyers for the district argue that if these mandates are enforced, they'll lose staff who refuse to get vaccinated, enrollment will drop drastically, and that mask wearing could be a detriment to language and development in small children. On the other hand, the Biden administration claims that these mandates are completely justified and will prevent the spread of COVID-19. But the question is, do they have the right to do so? It's a big decision, but the judge can look at the language and see whether he thinks it fell within the law for the president had the authority to do with. He can look and see the time and the procedures they took to adopt this rule and decide both of those did it violate either of those procedures. The judge is faced with a potentially historic decision. If he grants the injunction, it could affect more than just Texans. Clearly one that's, that the national interest is high on with the pandemic taking place. And so judges tend to rule quicker in those cases. And this is one that is, again, no question, politics are involved in this between the governor of Texas and the president of the United States. Judges recognize that too. They don't, they try not to participate in the politics but they recognize the high level of interest and the fact that it's being asked to apply nationwide. So the judge will, you know, will take that in consideration and get a ruling out. It's not unusual, and he, he indicated he would, and I expect him to have a ruling, uh, clearly at least by over the weekend, if not before then. Health and safety regulations are traditionally left up to the states to decide. So the judge's decision in this lawsuit may very well set pre precedent for other cases. The judge may have a decision as early as tomorrow morning.